So more recently, I've really started establishing a proper planche um, training scheme, right? I train the planche three times a week and each three sessions are a push day, right? When I say push, I only mean it as since the planche is a straight arm push exercise, I'm focusing on a push on that day, right? And any form of accessory, any exercises I do that isn't quite similar to the planche, um, well, basically, it's just dynamics and bend arm work that purely work on my anterior delts and things that uh, really support and, um, you know, complement my, uh, my planche training, right? So ideally, I'm just trying to increase my overall push strength specifically towards straight arm strength, right? And therefore improve the planche. In that sense, you kind of realize that there isn't too much variety as you're focusing all your exercises in particular um, in the region of the planche field, right? Because of that, you can't really see as much um, manifestation of your raw strength, right? And your strength progression. So today I decided I might try a bit of um, my bent arm work, specifically the 90 degree push up, and see how I felt, right? I wanted to see the um, my experience, right? I wanted to know whether I it was easier, whether my form was better, you know, anything that really uh, established that, oh, there is clear uh, progression in my strength, right? Sometimes when I'm just focused too much on the planche, the only thing you're able to see is better form, um, longer durations, or maybe like you can do more reps or you can lean more in the pseudo planche push-ups, right? In that sense, uh, it's not really a clear indication of how much you're improving, right? So right here, I was doing the 90 degree push-up. Um, I kind of lost balance there, so uh, I wouldn't say that I've reduced my um, strength, but there was a clear uh, improvement in strength. I felt a lot more comfortable in the position in the bent arm shadow hold and even these 90 degree um, the full holds the negatives I was actually able to hold that kind I was able to like slowly descend in that full form right now prior to this I was never able to do the full um, position right as soon as I got halfway in that negative, I just fell down and I didn't have the strength or the capacity to do so, right? So it surprised me, or at least it made me happy to realize that I'm clearly improving in strength, right? I'm clearly gaining strength and um, at least I'm not, um, it's a reality check or a recall back that, you know, if you're ever too invested in the planche, you may sometimes not see the progression as holistically, right? Now, um, in that consideration, I've also thought since I've been neglecting the bench press and uh, any form of like major pec work, I realized that um, I guess since there's more prioritizing in my shoulders, I'll need to consider doing a bit more chest work later on or maybe engage it a bit more with more accessory work and, you know, I guess implement a bit more of my uh, weighted dips Okay, the occasional bench press and uh, to ensure that I'm not uh, potentially going into the region of like muscle imbalances and injuries. So um, with regards to these pseudo planche push-ups, I actually went through for a bit of a higher uh, rep repetition, right? I went for um, around like eight reps, seven reps, and then just a bit lower, right? I want to get beyond that five rep range and work on those high volume work. Now, that meant that I had to, you know, I couldn't lean as much simply because if I lean too much, then I'll probably be working on the one to three rep and a lot more strength and intensity, right? I kind of wanted to get the work in and see how well I improved in general, right? So in that sense, um, I kept it kind of short. I did my isometrics, the static shadow holds, uh, a bit of like planche negatives, and then finished off with experimenting with bent up and then the dynamic pseudo planche push-ups. So that was basically the summary of my session today and I'll finish it off here.